Hey everybody, this is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Boric. Subscribe down below or on the easy widget to use up above at the end of the video. This is going to be the downtrodden first half by our Philadelphia Eagles reaction video. At the start, it actually looked like this game was going to be closer and a lot closer than I thought. The score-wise, it's still a lot closer than I expected it to be and probably honestly should be because the Eagles are not capitalizing on any chances whatsoever. They're two for six on third down. They only have five first downs to the 16 of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, the 186 passing yards to 52, 47 to 21, so doubled up on rushing yards as well. Uh, this was just another non-competitive, like the announcer said at the end of the damn first half, it was another non-competitive half by the Eagles. Of course the Eagles, our Eagles, did answer in some capacity via Jalen Hurts being able to figure it out and run a little bit, which we saw him try to do late in this half, and I applaud him for that. The issue with Hurts in this game, again, was not being able to hit a couple of the deep passes and not being able to make those touch throws, which will learn as time goes on. But obviously, as fans, it's a little bit frustrating to watch right now when he could just touch one over instead of throwing consistent line drives that then equal it not being incomplete. But the Eagles actually don't. They, there hasn't been a sack yet, but that's also because Barrett, he's avoided Barrett. He's avoided others coming after him, Jalen Hurts. And that's a big reason why. There has not been a sack in this game. In terms of time of possession, we're beyond doubled up. 8.55 to 20 minutes and 46 seconds for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So that ain't going to cut it. The way the Eagles played offensively ain't going to cut it. The defense is saving their bacon again, honestly, keeping them in the game. Yes, they gave up three touchdowns, but they made the big pick at the end of the half. And also, they've been pressuring Tom Brady a little bit, as they were talking about on the telecast and seemingly forcing him to throw some balls that he didn't even have to throw out as early as he did in that first half a little bit earlier to lead to some incompletions. And it looks like maybe because he had that hand and thumb injury, it looks like that pressure might be getting to him a little bit and have affected him on like that missed Antonio Brown and some other throws you're not accustomed to seeing TV 12 miss. So if you're able to do that in the second half, get some pressure on him, pounce back like you did a little bit against the Panthers, then you will be in a much better spot here. But the Eagles have to show something um, in this second half. It was a very abysmal first half yet again. The only thing that kept them in this game was the defense. Quite frankly, this game should be more of a blowout than it is right now because of how the offense performed, again, abysmally in the first half. Now, I'm not putting it all on Jalen Hurts because I think this is also bad play calling and bad scheming again by Nick Sirianni. You have to realize you don't have to run every play out of the damn shotgun. It's not going to help you with the running game to run every play out of the damn shotgun. It's not going to help you with a fast quarterback that can beat Barrett, one of the only people that can beat that man other than Lamar Jackson and a couple others in the league. You are not benefiting these players by running the scheme in which, as such, we are running. Now, on defense, it seems like Gannon's been running better schemes lately, and you see Harris doing a little bit better. You see other guys doing better. You see Marcus Epps even almost have a damn pick for all of all people. So... Like, it seems like that's starting to work out more. Now it's the offense. It was funny. Nick Sirianni, before last game, yelled at Gannon. Now it seems like he should be yelling at him because he's had an abysmal first hit. Terrible offensive scheming. It's just boring. It's just a boring, bland offense. You're in the shock and run the same crap all the time. Change it up. Switch it up. Do a little bit more interesting things. I honestly don't expect it to happen in the second half because the only reason we won last week was Jalen Hurts was able to figure it out by running a little bit. And maybe you have to do that again. The only reason we were able to score in this first half was, of course, a beautiful catch again by Krez Watkins, who keeps stepping up and making big plays, it seemed, seemed seemingly, each week. And then, of course, you were able to get the nice penalty drawn by Jalen Reger, and then we were able to score on that one on the nice throw to Zach Ertz when it looked like Ertz was going to run it. Then he just had that nice little flick throw. So you had one good drive. That's it. you got to capitalize more. You have to have a better second half. You have to figure it out like you did last week if you want to have a chance to come back in this game. Granted, I never thought we were going to win this game in general. My hope was just to be able to stay in the game and have a competitive game. And right now on the scoreboard, it looks more competitive than it is because in the stats, it ain't competitive one iota. So step up and play a better second half Eagles to make this game an actual competitive close game at the very least, if not start coming back by sprinkling a little bit more on the offensive side in there into the playbook to get more going. So I hope everyone enjoyed this halftime reaction show. We need to expect more. And, and see more out of this team, especially out of Nick Sirianni scheming the offense. It's been abysmal. Stop doing everything out of the shotgun. It's not benefiting your players. It's quite frankly easy to see that, that it's not benefiting, especially running and doing some of the stuff when you could just run Sanders up the gut. You could just do quicker plays. You can just do those quicker throws that you see other teams do out of the eye or, the, or <clears throat> um, 
any other formation other than the shotgun consistent, and you would be fine. But I hope you all enjoyed this halftime reaction. Subscribe down below or up top on the easy-to-use widget. This has been a Philadelphia Eagles halftime reaction. Peace out and stay safe, everybody.